5637 Granville Lake. This garage door either needs to be repainted or power washed. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it looks pretty bad. And I think the, um, the trim here needs to be addressed in some way and the driveway needs to be power washed. Definitely a landscape cleanup, which is something we do at all of the properties. Um, attention to that side gate to make sure it latches properly. It wasn't latching. And we have lots of stuff around here. We almost never paint the seckle on the outside, but I think it's enough that it affects the curb appeal. And also, if you can see, there's a lot of debris that has come in, so new weather stripping and a new door handle. There's tile at the entry. We need to get um, all new two and a half inch fold lines throughout the property. <clears throat> there needs to be some degree of repaint. I'm going to leave that to the property manager, but all up along here, you can see it was poorly done. I'm going to go ahead and suggest a full repaint, and the property manager will make that call. Uh, I would also think that all of the wet areas need to be tiled. I would think this needs to be replaced. It's a weird transition strip, just feels cheap. There's a vertical here that needs to be replaced and a vertical upstairs. There's four blinds in here that need to be replaced. The laminate is okay. Can, um, granite, granite or quartz counters would look a lot better with an undermount sink and a gooseneck faucet. The cabinets have a little bit of wear and tear and we need to junk this fridge or have the seller junk it and replace it with something that makes sense for the size of the property. Really large wall in the back which is something you don't see very often, which gives some privacy to this property. Okay, I think all or most of the toilets in this property need to be replaced. I'm not gonna show you inside them. Also, um, I'm not gonna go into this room here, but uh, earlier I did and I think we need to replace this laundry room flooring with tile, maybe power wash the garage. Yeah. So in here, uh, I'm not going to show you the toilet, but it needs to be replaced. Sorry about the quality of this video. We need to replace this blind. Really high ceilings are nice. We need to figure out what happened to the sheetrock right here. Okay, carpets, pretty much what you expect. It's not shocking in any condition. Uh, the wear is showing on this stair handle. It looks like they stained it, so the stain's coming off. We need to replace this door here, replace all these blinds and the fan probably pull up this carpet and put down some tile, which is about six and a half dollars per square foot for the upstairs. Replace that toilet as well. Just take my word for it. Or maybe sometimes we can acid wash things, but we need to count that in the rehab cost and also these drain stoppers in the blind. Four blinds in here need to be replaced with two and a half inch fold blinds. <clears throat> this flooring needs to be replaced with tile. We need a shower rod. The toilet's pretty gross too. If this fan works, great. We need new blinds. That's one window, just a very wide window. All of the doors look like they need to be repainted. This is a raised panel door for some reason. The others are flat, sorry, flat panel. We have closet door guides here. And um, a shelf that goes all the way across. Same within this room. 
actually here. Let me guess. This um, closet panel looks pretty bad, and I couldn't get it to open. So I, I can't actually verify that there's a closet rod in there. That's it's been $45 in the past. We may be able to get a different price on that. Okay.